So uncertainty is everywhere, particularly in pastoral areas, which are subject to uncertainty from all directions, whether that's from the environment with high levels of rainfall variability, droughts and floods and so on, whether that's from markets with highly volatile prices, or whether that's from governance and institutions with conflicts and changing roles happening dramatically. But in pastoral areas, and uncertainties are increasing and changing as pastoral, pastoral areas change. There's an acceleration of change on all fronts as a result of infrastructure developments, changing market relations, globalization, and so on. So uncertainty, whether we're thinking about it in terms of uh, unknown probabilities of what the future might bring, is a vital, vital lens for thinking about pastoralism. Well, the project is just getting going now in different uh, sites around the world. Um, we're going to be looking at pastoral change in, in Italy, in Sardinia, in China, in, in the Tibetan regions, and in Kenya, in Isiolo. Very, very different contexts. But I think by looking across these and thinking about uncertainty in all of them through different lenses, we can get a wider sense of how and why uh, pastoral change is, is occurring and in what ways. And I think this will together allow us to think about, well, what are the underlying principles that allow pastoralists and pastoral peoples to adapt to and respond to and live with and from uncertainties in different settings? And I think if we can get to an understanding of those principles, we can also share those principles with other people working in other domains, confronting uncertainty in different settings, whether that's in financial systems, in questions of critical infrastructure, in disease management. So we want to bring pastoralism out to the world, learn from the margins, and uh, develop global lessons for understanding uncertainty and change.